Greetings everyone and welcome to another episode of Star Wars The Republic Trooper Edition. In the last episode we hijacked a crawler from the Empire and we brought the fight to him. Now we are on smack dab in the middle of some good old fashioned war and hopefully, I said this in the last episode, I'm going to say it again, hopefully we are freaking done with this planet after this episode. Beta and this will take care of Alpha. Team two in position. Welcome party is staged and Rackton's flankers have been confirmed. We'll advise if anyone escapes. Jorgen out. Oh, hello. What's up, big dogs? Just die already. Thank you. Town, what are you doing back there, dude? Alright. Oh, we done pissed him off again. All good. Whoa, Nelly. Calm down now. Oh, I'm half. Goodbye. Get up. No. Oh, hello. But of course, they all just decided to turn on. Any others? No? Okay. Down here. Time to move up and clean up. See you soon. Friggin' out. Ooh. Let's shoot the thing in front of us first. There you go. Good job, Natalia. Let's go with that. Doing to this thing. Hmm. Okay. What you doing, Natalia? Oh! Deuces. Incoming! Big ass thing to deal with too. So <laughs> I 
when a force trooper enters, you don't know what to do. At this moment, that's how you realize she can use the force. Oh, she also has plane thrower in her left wrist. <laughs> Okay. I guess there's another one. Alright. So let's continue on our way. With force using Natalia Ko. Because that makes sense. Secure the rendezvous location. Oh, okay. Interesting. First of all... Force using Co! What's the status of our forces? Havoc squad is at full operating status. Zero casualties. Enemy infantry was dug in good, but not good enough. We punched through without too many casualties. Good work. We've made a major advance against the Empire's best. We should all be proud. Now you just have to hold this position until we get the man we came for. Stay sharp. So come here, Bracton's anywhere, he's in the command center. Here are the coordinates. Ooh. Let's go earn some fortune, fame, and medals. We're actually going to be going after Bracton now, it seems. About damn time, and he is in there. Alright, here we go. Get these on. Probably should expect a few fights, maybe? No? Racking you in here? Oh, yep, you're right there. Okay, let's do this. The one worthy opponent in the entire Republic. Ironically, outmaneuvering all of my plans to save the Republic's people. Can you not see your corrupt and weak minded leaders are dragging you down? Your Republic will fall by the hands of the Empire or by the weight of its own decadence. The end is inevitable. Why prolong the suffering? <laughs> is this how you greet everyone you meet? You think this is a joke? The people of the Republic are crushed by bureaucracy, neither encouraged nor allowed to reach their fullest potential. Under Imperial rule, your people will be free to excel, to take charge of their own fates. I will give your people the future they deserve. The Empire doesn't free people. It conquers them. It is unfortunate that you will only partake in a civilized way of life when forced. With the intel I've collected here, I can wage a war so destructive that your Republic will fall in a matter of months. So I offer this. Return to your masters. Convince them to surrender unconditionally. Avoid millions of deaths trying to prevent a victory that would free your people. <laughs> I have you, Rakton. You expect me to just leave now? You actually think you can beat me? Yes, I do. Why does no one see sense even after all this time? I hope the image of your corpse will encourage your subordinates to see reason where you could not. If you have any final words, now is the time. 
Hunting you down is gonna be a pleasure, General. You should have brought more men. Nah. Don't you see I got two men with me? I got Dick and my gun. Stop healing over there when I get there. There we go. Alright, Racton, where'd you go? Right back there? Alrighty. It's fairly easy. So this is how it ends. A lifetime of service to the greatest cause in galactic history. What happens now? A simple execution? Or will the last civilized man be paraded through the streets of Coruscant as a trophy for your ignorant masses? General Rackton, consider yourself a prisoner of the Galactic Republic. Let your primitive mockery of justice begin. <laughs> Major, we've got serious heat incoming. The scanners are lit up like a- whoa! Is that him? Yep. The Empire's <laughs> He's like, whoa! We've beaten him. The Empire will still succeed in the end. Nah. Imps must have finally realized Rackton was off comms. They're sending a huge force our way. Too many for us to handle. I think it's time to pull out, sir. The safe crackers can get Rackton out for you. Rackton may be beaten, but he's still dangerous. Stay sharp. Understood. He'll be under full guard at all times. Let's go, Rackton. Until we meet again, Major. Indeed. Alright, get to the evacuation shuttle. Here we go. That's a shuttle. Shuttle. Alright, where is the shuttle? It's over here. Oh, Nelly! Okay. Just get caught on fire, why don't we? Eh. I want to see. I don't want to die. Thank you. <laughs> hey, get your fat ass on that ship. to get aboard our ship which is right here and then we're headed to Coruscant I believe Go. 
Alright, before we do, let's go ahead and just talk to these guys, because we do got a little bit of time. Sir, I found information on weapons projects that Colonel Rebus was involved in. Would you like to hear about them? What's Colonel Rebus been up to? Most recently, Colonel Rebus was involved in the gauntlet superweapon that we so skillfully destroyed. He's had a hand in many other projects over the past 18 years. The Blight Matrix, the Galactophage, subjugation droids, even the plasm resource. Supposedly, he even designed a device that could permanently block hyperlanes, though the project was scrapped due to power limitations. Rebus sounds like an experienced mass murderer. It's unlikely that anyone in the galaxy has more experience in this field than Rebus. Once his new project enters the testing phase, we will stand a much better chance of locating Rebus himself. I will report to you as soon as I know more. All right. What do you got to say now? Our opportunity has arrived, sir. We've received intelligence reports that Colonel Rebus is about to test his latest project. A secret proving ground has been established on Hoth. Security will be extensive, but nothing compared to Rebus's usual protection. Perfect. Sounds like you've got your opening. Neutralizing Colonel Rebus will devastate the Empire's weapons programs. Even I cannot calculate the number of lives that this mission could save. By robbing our enemies of their most despicable weapons, we will rob them of victory. Ensuring freedom for generations to come. Sounds good. It was a trap, sir. Colonel Rebus was even more devious than I had expected. Okay. You're here, so I'm guessing the trap didn't work. Affirmative. In spite of the odds arrayed against me, I still managed to prevail. All of the hints and clues that led me to M14X, I think, it. would be a better companion a if he was a little bit more like. As soon as I defeated the last of the um, security teams and confronted Rebus, the assassin droid from Knights of the Old Republic, my primary energy MK47. I was frozen. Okay. How did you manage to turn the tables on him? As Rebus and his final few guards approach, I said we're gonna freaking talk to like everyone, but 4X is just taking up a lot of time. By manipulating those systems, I was able to trigger a full emergency shutdown and a rear servo lock, violently propelling me forward just as Rebus came to face me. <laughs> he fell on him. You actually escaped by collapsing on the guy? It was a desperate ploy, but it was successful. <laughs> as I hoped. Shutting down my power core caused Rebus's device to shut down as well. All systems were restored within 96 seconds. Rebus's surviving guards were still attempting to lift me off of him at the time, so I dealt with them and carried the colonel back to base. Mission accomplished. <laughs> I'd say so. That is definitely one for the records, 4X. With Rebus in custody, the entire galaxy is a safer place. It will be some time before I can locate an even more impressive target. As soon as I do, you'll be the first to know. Alrighty then. Good job. Well, with that, we're just gonna go ahead and just go <laughs> speak to Lieutenant Mai. Come on. Come on, loading screen. You can do it. We all believe in you. Slightly. Not a whole lot. But we still have some belief there in our puny little hearts. There we go. Alright. Top all here. Mm, 
they in the Senate Palace, I'm assuming. So let's go ahead and go here. Santa Plaza. Where is this lady? Alright, so we just need to jump up here again. Into the phase. Hello, Lieutenant Mai. Major. Hi. Welcome back. Thank you. General, the Major's here. Not a moment too soon. Come with me, Major. We're supposed to be in the Supreme Chancellor's office ten minutes ago. What's the situation, General? The situation is that the Supreme Chancellor of the Republic is waiting for us. Come along. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the situation is we're being waited with. Oh God, Suresh. General Garza, hello. Please come in. Make yourself comfortable. And Major, so good to see you again. It seems I can't blink without you winning yet another incredible victory for us. <laughs> Thank you. It's good to see you too, Your Excellency. I didn't become fully aware of Havoc Squad's achievements until I took office. Your service to the Republic has been truly remarkable. For your meritorious actions and unequaled valor in service of the Republic, you are hereby awarded our highest honor, the Cross of Glory. Oh, Congratulations. Damn. My team be recognized for their work as well? The other members of Havoc Squad will each receive gold crescents for their contributions to the capture of General Rakton. It's hard to believe we actually have the Empire's greatest general in our custody. He's the best bargaining chip we've ever laid hands on. Excuse me, Your Excellency, but what do you mean exactly? A trade. In return for Rakton, the Empire is willing to release thousands of Republic prisoners. It's an incredible opportunity. With respect, wouldn't it be extremely dangerous to release Rakton? I believe the risk is more than outweighed by the reward. We've beaten him once, we can beat him again. Huh. Think of the countless families reunited. Thousands of husbands and wives, parents and children, all brought home at last. And what of the many thousands more killed by Rakton in his campaigns, Your Excellency? Don't they deserve some kind of justice? We can't help the dead, General. But we can help the living, and we have a duty to do so. As Supreme Chancellor, the choice is yours. Yes, and the correct choice seems obvious to me. Be proud. Your actions have freed thousands of soldiers from enemy custody and proven that we can defeat the Empire's greatest general. It's been a pleasure, Major. So we literally Good just did that for no reason. And know that the Republic appreciates you. <sighs> so your I should have killed Rakton. Good day, Your Excellency. Oh, she's pissed. Yep, I should have just killed him. I had two chances to put a freaking blaster shot Hello. right through his head. Major, welcome back. How did your meeting go? <laughs> the Supreme Chancellor is trading Rakton back to the Empire, alive and well. I can't begin to imagine how difficult it will be to capture him again. 
We captured Racton once. We can do it again. Let's hope so. We have no other choice now. Indeed. Even without this setback, our war against the Empire is far from over. Their forces are already regrouping on Ilum and elsewhere. It won't be long before your team is called back to the front lines. You should take this time to get what rest you can. So what's the plan? Where do we go from here? <laughs> the enemy doesn't take time off, so neither do we. Let's get back out there, people. We will fight until the last Imperial lies dying at our feet. Good enthusiasm. Just be sure to keep your hollow close by, Major. When the next crisis comes, Havoc Squad will get the first call. All right. And I believe with that, we end the trooper story. I'm pretty sure, yep. Indeed. Well, that was a long, long, long-awaited end. Oh, there we go. Okay, I was about to be like, um, don't you freeze at me, like, right as we're done with that. Alright, let's put those real quick. Let's see, make sure that is the last mission for the story. Yep, that's the Elam. So, we did it, guys. We are officially done with the Trooper story. If you guys did enjoy, go ahead and leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and next time I talk to you guys, we will be doing another story. Um, I'm still debating if I want to do the Jedi, or if I want to go ahead and hop on something new. But with that, guys, I will see you on the next episode. I'll catch y'all then. Bye.